The global economic crisis has confronted policymakers with difficult choices, including when to spend and when to reduce government deficits and accumulated debt. The choices and decisions countries make now have a lot to do with their past habits. Governments, researchers, and the public need intelligent information to help them choose the best path for economic recovery in their own countries. The global economic crisis has made things more difficult as people lose jobs, governments lose revenue, and debt rises. This in turn can hurt a country's economic growth. IMF staff have built a comprehensive and dynamic new database on public debt to help policymakers understand the past and chart a future course to sustainable growth. Looking back, we see debt ratios in advanced economies, pictured here in red, decline from 50% of GDP from 1880 to below 30% just before World War I. Debt spiked with the war, and debt ratios reached almost 100% of GDP in the early 1920s. The stock market crash in 1929 and the Great Depression took a toll, although the debt ratio was headed downwards in the late 1930s when World War II began. The debt ratio shot up dramatically with spending on the war, but declined through the mid-1970s thanks to an extended period of growth in advanced economies. Since then, advanced economy debt has been on a steady rise as growth slowed and government budgets came under increasing pressures from the cost of aging populations, as well as spending on health care and pensions. In the past 40 years, public debt ratios in emerging markets, pictured here in blue, have remained below 50% of GDP, but have shown considerable volatility at times, such as the Latin American debt crises of the early 1980s and the Asian financial crisis in the late 1990s. Debt ratios in low-income countries, pictured here in yellow, rose sharply after 1980 as they experienced a period of low growth and frequent shocks and borrowed heavily, often at high interest rates. Their debt ratios have come down in recent years thanks to debt relief and better institutions and policies. The new IMF database shows how the relationship between a country's public debt and its economic growth has changed over time. Historically, fast-growing countries had low debt ratios, while slow growers struggled under higher debt. This trend is pictured on the left-hand side of the graph as the circles grow larger and move down along the timeline. However, since the 1970s, advanced economies have grown in spite of increasing debt levels. They will need to reverse this rise in debt over time to put themselves back on a path of higher and more sustainable growth. With spending on pensions and healthcare rising steadily in advanced economies, even before the crisis hit, ambitious and credible plans are needed to achieve this goal.